Hi, I'm Nagdan Sari, and in this video we're gonna talk about game modes in Unreal Engine 5. So without any further ado, let's begin. Before I forgot, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel because uh, I wanna create a lot of video about Unreal Engine 5 that nobody talks about in YouTube. Please hit that subscribe button and like this video. At default, there is a game mode for your game. And for finding that, go to Edit, go to Project Setting, and in here in maps and modes in here and let's just maximize this or put this in here for you to see it clearly in here you can see that at the default it's uh, the default game mode is first person game okay and you can set your own and i will show you how you can do that how you can create your game mode and you can see when we set this to something like first person game yeah there is a game modes in here that we can set so for example default pawn class this default pawn class is what player can control okay this hot class is when you want to show the health you want to show a stamina or something like that right and there is other classes like a spectator class player state class game state class player control controller class that i will show you each one of them one by one how you can create them customize them to create whatever game modes that you want to have so all of this that we that is set by default is from this default game mode that is set for us to, the, to be the first person game mode okay when we create our project when we say that we want to create a first person game it will set it there but we want to have our own game mode right so let's just close this go to our content browser and here for example right click create a blueprint class and first thing we should create a blueprint class of game mode base okay and i want to call it bp because this is a blueprint classes and you if you watch my videos about Unreal Engine 5 beginner blueprint, you know all everything. You know a lot of things about blueprints. I have a lot of videos about tips and tricks in blueprint the most used nodes in Unreal Engine 5 that it can be a cookbook for you. So whenever you, you want to do something, you can just watch that video. I will I did explain everything in detail. And in here, and of course, we did talk about timelines and we use LERP and a lot of cool nodes in details. In this case, we want to create our my game mode, for example. Okay, I want to call it BP my game mode. So let's just double click on it to open it. And I want to put it in here by dragging it and drop it in here. Okay, so like all the blueprint classes, it has viewport, it has construction script, and it has event graph, for example. Okay, and you can see it, it's just a blueprint class. Okay, and you can do whatever you want in this um, game mode. Okay, and first thing first, let's just go to details to explain to you what they are. First of all, actor tick. If you check this first one, let's just maximize this like this for you to see it clearly, right? So let's start with tick enabled. If you hover over it, it says what it does. If true, this tick function will start enabled, but can be disabled later on, okay? If you check this and put zero in here and your game run at 60 frames per second, this, this event tick uh, in all of your blueprint classes will tick every frame but for example you want um, this event tick happen every five seconds or every six seconds you can change it in here for example if we um, write six in here every six second this event tick will happen the next property is this allow tick before begin play so if you check this before this event begin play this event tick will run as well okay but if you don't check this First of all, this event begin play will be triggered and after that the event tick will be triggered and you know that if your game is 60 frames per second, this execution field will execute whatever that is connected to it 60 times per second, okay? So let's just check that because we want and you can see that we can set the game session class, game state class and we did talk about some of them like default pawn class and hot class, okay? And for each one of them, you can create a new blueprint class for for example for this default pawn class that is uh, the pawn that player can control uh, add your own okay and i will show you how you can create your own pawn class and the hot class uh, like health bar like uh, stamina bar and everything like that that is a graphic user interface right 
so we can create a class for that as well and player estate class that we can um, set the estate of the player we have player controller class and i will show you each one of them separately in future videos in detail so you you can create whatever game you want whatever game mode you want okay and it will be easy for you because i want to explain each one of them in separate videos in detail so please hit that subscribe button right now thank you very much the next property is this default player name so for example we have a multiplayer game that we have a server and each player should set a player name okay and if they didn't set the player name the default player uh, the default name for the player will be set in here next property is game mode the first one is use seamless travel it is for when the play in multiplayer game when the player wanna wanna go to another level should it disconnect and connect to our server or not in all multiplayer game always just check this if you want to create a multiplayer game but if your game is offline you don't need to check this the next property is a start player as spectators what it is uh, let's say you have a multiplayer game again and whenever they they are connected to your game should they be a spectators or they have their own pawn and they can walk around around your game right so with that you can set set it to say if it's a spectator or a player that can control something right the next property is possible so multiplayer game i don't think that the multiplayer game should be possible but offline game i think it should be pos uh, possible okay so if you have multiplayer game just uncheck this because nobody should be able to pause the game and for offline game you should check this possible okay let's say we have this game mode how we can set this game mode to in our game it, at the beginning of the video i did show you you can go to edit in project setting and in game modes in maps and modes in here in game mode you can set your new bp my game mode that we create okay we can set it and you remember that there are some default classes in here that in future video we're gonna create our new classes for each one of them so no we set our game mode in here but each one of your levels can have their own modes so for example first level you want it to be first person shooter game and next next level you want it to be a third person shooter game mode okay you can do that for example in this level you can go to world setting in here and set the game mode for each one of the levels so in this level i want it to be a first person game but because we set the project setting at the maps and modes to our uh, new mode that we create each level that we create from now on it will be uh, the mo the game mode will be bp my game mode okay so and if you want to overwrite that you can go to your level that you want to overwrite go to world setting and in here just change the game mode overwrite from here to whatever you want for example bp my game mode like this that was it for this video in the future video i will sh show you each one of these classes in here how to create them and how we can have our own game mode so please hit that subscribe button to for you to not miss videos and hit that bell button as well it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye